running out of intros, guys. Uh, <laughs> hi, Bottoms. Happy Monday. Elena Joy is here. She needs no Hello. intro. <laughs> <laughs> So, I'm here. Can you I'm shut sorry, the f- up? Sorry, Elena Joy is here. In shut silent. up. I'm doing the pre-roll. Elena you Joy f- is here and knows her place. Yeah. This week we have the incredible Elena Joy. I specifically selected Hello. her. <laughs> Alex, can you cut her from the whole episode? Thank you. I specifically selected her for this episode because I am... I bring something so vulnerable to this episode. I needed a therapist. And Kylie is also on this episode because I just knew, I knew she'd relate to what I was saying. And I was 100% right. Yes. And we get into some really kinky stuff. It is my kinkiest story to date. And I absolutely love it's it true. with this guy, with these guys. And they're with just this fantastic. <laughs> with this guy. And Elena is here with this guy. And Elena <laughs> is here. I, right in. Do you like the pre-roll with the guest and the co-host? And Elena is here, not just promoting Chosen Family podcast, but her new podcast, Sleeping Around, um, with guests and experts talking about sex and dating mm-hmm. and queerness and yada, yada, yada. And then, as always, I am on tour. I'm not sure when this is coming out. So, Connecticut, Nashville... Des Moines, Austin, Spokane, Washington, Louisville, all kinds of places. AshleyGavin.com. Get a text from me when I'm in your city. All kinds of Patreon, places. Patreon, Patreon.com slash WH. She has to pay this f***ing whore. Doesn't realize what she's not grateful. I live in a car. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for listening, guys. Listener, this episode is brought to you by Helix, my absolute favorite mattress. I am getting the best sleep of my life on a Helix. And you can too if you go over and take their little quiz. Their two-minute quiz is going to match you with the perfect mattress for you. And you'll be sleeping like a baby in no time. Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash gay sex and use code HELIXPARTNER20. This is their best offer yet, and it won't last long. With Helix, better sleep starts now. Listener, this episode is brought to you by your pussy. Yes, I mean your cat. No, it's brought to you by Smalls, the best cat food on the market. I absolutely love Smalls. It's made my cats happier. Their fur shinier and softer. They puke less. It's the best stuff around. Now is the time to make the switch to Smalls. Head to smalls.com slash gay and use promo code gay at checkout for 50% off your first order plus free shipping. That's the best offer you'll find, but you have to use my code gay for 50% off your first order. One last time, that's promo code gay for 50% off your first order plus free shipping. You came on our podcast one day just <laughs> looking absolutely wrecked. She has a husband, but they're separated, and she's never been with a woman before. Wow. She's hit all the Ashley points. <laughs> it got so intense, I used the safe word. <laughs> yes. I was like, I, oh my God, I can't hide it. <laughs> I am so her, ready for I, this. I, I, can't, I asked her to give me <laughs> gonna jump into it because i have the most epic story of all time i literally flew Mm -hmm. kylie here just so that she could be a part of this Uh, let's be clear it was on frontier an hour away so (laughs) (laughs) it wasn't a big investment here's the thing i said we got we got to get the pj down to albany where were you the pj down to private jet Oh, <laughs> oh my God. You've changed since I've you've changed. gone to Europe. I've changed. She, I walk in. She goes, I fucking hate the climate. I'll do anything for a private jet. <laughs> oh, the climate sucks. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. You're so funny. I love your energy on the pod. Oh my God. I'm And the people it. love you. Elena, the people love Kylie. I know you, okay. Elena just got here and this is my first pod in a while. So like, I'm like, <laughs> I'm on yeah. fucking fire, dude. I'm coming in hot. And Elena, also, the only thing you need to know is the people love me. So <laughs> from here on out, 
nothing else. Um, <laughs> I don't we, doubt that. I we have to, that. before we get into anything, Yes, we yeah. must acknowledge, Elena, here's the thing. Elena and I co-host another podcast yes, called- Yes, The Gay Thing. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Um, what this, is this? A is, less gay thing. It's a less gay thing. Weirdly, this it is, is kind less of gay. like a uh, bi thing. It's a bi thing. It's a, oh. <laughs> yeah, it's like, a, explain. It's, it's like a pansexual thing. That's that's <laughs> fucked up to say. <laughs> it's like a poly thing. No, it's like no, a non-binary you, thing. No, all of you fuck off. This all podcast non-binary. takes place in Manhattan. <laughs> it takes place in Manhattan. <laughs> poly, 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 poly. <laughs> oh, it does give poly vibes. It does. Oh, yeah. fuck everybody. It no, does. No. It do- well, exactly. Exactly, lo- Ashley. Oh. Exactly. I, I am... And Polly's at home, don't be offended. You guys are good in the way that you chose to label it. I just. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, I just love different people and I just, you know. Right. Probably need more of a schedule, like a Google yeah. Cal. Yeah. yeah. A little Google Cal. Do you Cal use Google? Lee? <laughs> <laughs> that would be so just, fucked up to send your lover a calendly invite. No, all to of them. Pick a so time they get slot to see. To, yeah, exactly. A doodle. Can everyone no, write people in? People do that. They use a no, calendly. No. Pe- not maybe not a calendly, but like shared calendars. That's fine. Yeah. Shared calendar is different. Calendly yeah. is like, hey, oh yeah, you right. gotta pick from one of my time slots. <laughs> yeah, I think that's if awesome. you're gonna fit into my time slot. If you're trying to. If you're trying to like get joke. yourself like pumped up, I would just send that out to a bunch of people, see the responses. <laughs> if the responses are low, that's tough shit. Because that is, that's actually <laughs> the risk of it. If Sending no it out to responded. everyone on your on your MailChimp. <laughs> your, on your MailChimp. Your polyamorous your mail. Light. Your mailer light. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, God, it's so good to be back. Oh, it's so good to be here with you in America. <laughs> I um, know. How- Elena. Yes. Before we left, before I left, because no one else yes. left, because I was in Europe. Um, yeah. International Alex, hot shot. Yes. Big time sold out shows. Tour. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. Sold out across the continent. Alex and I did a Patreon episode. Here's what you're missing on the Patreon about chains. Okay. And Alex ordered a rope chain. And now okay. I'm back seeing him for the first time in weeks. And here he is in his little turtleneck and his chain. And I it, see it. It has yeah. changed you, Alex. You are a new person. <laughs> Yeah? How so? Oh my god. Just even just right that. there. Just that. Yeah. I think I'm just infinitely more robbable is the only difference. Now, <laughs> now yeah. I'm more of a target. Also, you're going to pass out. It's like 90 yeah, degrees. Yeah, are you okay? It's cold in my room. I don't know why. It's like, I. you keep saying that and it's not a nice thing to say to people because it's not <laughs> cold in everyone's room. It's hot in this room right now because this AC is broken. Yeah, but also I sleep in cars and stuff. I don't care. You are, <laughs> we could not be more different. You are not. It, it's, it's weird that we get along so well because you are so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> you have a disabled dog. <laughs> You, you live in a van. You're so yeah. Brooklyn. It's fucked it's up. It's so annoying. But the thing is, the thing is on the outside, like, oh, like I imagine watching myself come out of the van with my disabled dog. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, fuck this and, lady. And Elena, this dog is not minorly disabled. This it's dog like is okay. disabled. full blown disabled. It's yeah. a wheelie okay. dog. It's sh- oh, Yeah. She's disabled to the point where people think I did it to her. (laughs) (laughs) I think that. I think that. Well, I don't know. If you didn't talk to me and you just saw me on the street, would I look like a girl who adopted it? Who kicks a dog? (laughs) Yeah, answer. Do I look like a girl who kicks a dog or not? (laughs) You don't look like it, but that voice. Uh, <laughs> like that specific tone, you, yes, you, you sorry, escalated yeah. very quickly. I know it's something to do with my the way my parents were sleeping. So sorry bed. about okay. that. Just yeah. instant anger. Just it's in all of us. The cycle never breaks. I'm trying to break my cycle. <laughs> uh, which part of it? What do you mean, which part of it? <laughs> I'm sure it's not the all of the cycle you're trying to break. That's you think I lo- have more cycle in there? Definitely, yeah. 
<laughs> Explains a lot of your behavior. Do you think I've got multiple cycles? <laughs> this the is what that- therapy is. For anyone who's never been to therapy, this is what this is. Yo, okay, go- wait. That's odd. Your behavior is showing cycles. <laughs> <laughs> there's, and there's more than one. There's more than one in there. It's like it's like psychic psychic therapist, <laughs> psychic psychologist. I'm seeing a lot of different cycles. And then I pull out the tarot cards and then I don't know how to use them. Moon cycles, sun cycles, period cycles, wash cycles. Oh, and the abuse cycle. That's like, <laughs> and the news cycle. Um, we're in the apartment. We're having Your dog gays. cycles. Kind oh, wait, of. I had a really funny thing to say. Yeah, go ahead. Wait, do you guys know that they're doing clinical trials of DMT in Germany. I know this because I hooked up mm. with this girl from Germany last night and she was mm-hmm. telling me- La- You were in Germany last night? No, she was here. <laughs> oh, I was like, what the fuck? From that, that PJ. Can be other places. That, that PJ. <laughs> I hooked up with a German girl last night. You were in Germany? Well, I don't know. She. It's not that of an outlandish thing to say I after was your dressing. big worldwide tour. That's true. <laughs> Wait, did you guys, did I say, did I tell everyone what I wanted to announce the European tour? I was saying it as a bit on the tour, but I really wanted to call the European tour the white history tour. (laughs) Oh, you guys suck. You guys fucking suck. You suck. Isn't that funny? It got a big laugh on stage. Um, I mean, yeah. It's a bit. Because they love you. You don't love me? So no, I love you, but girl, but girl, I just start getting really upset with you. Um <laughs> the, uh, the way- That's where you draw the line. Not that I told oh, you to kick a dog, not the molestation yeah, jokes in not previous you episodes. Calling me the like the like the in-house molested person or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Oh or yeah, she, Elena. She's in house. Oh, Kylie, she's Kylie has been super molested. Yeah. Dude. Okay. Like, think about like a large amount of molesting, and then think okay. about a small. And usually, it feels about the same when you hear just like any amount of molesting. Right, but there are levels. But and in the there's way, there's absolutely levels. Kylie's playing at the highest level of molestation. Right. I would say. And I'm not saying I'm winning, but I'm. You definitely I'm, are winning. I'm probably you're winning. winning. Okay. I I don't want to say it, but I'm winning. Yeah. No. Is I, that like why we adopt? Did the highest level of disabled dog. (laughs) 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 That was that was revealing. (laughs) Elena's training to be a therapist. I know, Mm -hmm. and you're and you're fucking right, Elena. I start crying. (laughs) 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 I see many cycles. I see many cycles. Lots of cycles. There's actually two cycles on the side of your dog to help. Uh, to help her move. Like, can okay, we just... I made that joke like three minutes ago and I don't think anybody oh, heard, no it. One heard it. I'm so sorry, Elena. <sighs> A classic Ashley Gavin, always stealing material. <laughs> <laughs> that's the next cancel. Oh, don't even. <laughs> no, I would never fuck with that. Because that's, that's an actually fucked up thing to do. It's also Absolutely. like, <laughs> that's an actually <laughs> fucked up thing to do. <laughs> 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 I have no fucks. Elena, welcome to the other podcast where there are no wow. fucks. Yeah. I'm here. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the dark side, bitch. You talked about our podcast for like a split second, so I feel a little bit vindicated. Elena and I host the yes. Chosen Family podcast. The, it is yeah, nothing like one. this. The yeah. one. If you hate this, you will love the other podcast. If you find this to be loud and abrasive and obnoxious yeah. and dark, go watch the other podcast. It's yeah. for yeah. pussies. It's <laughs> because it's the game. Uh, because like, it's the game. <laughs> so do you guys, what do you do? You guys like sit around and like do your nails and stuff? Yeah, it's kind of what, that's close. actually kind of the vibe. Yeah, we, we take sit questions from the audience and the, yeah, the questions are always table. just from people who are just really struggling. And oh. re- they're really, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Elena's about oh. to be upset. They are doing so bad. Dude. They are oh. asking such basic questions. It is oh, like- Oh, that's not, oh, Ashley. Oh, Ashley. That's not true. <laughs> oh, Ashley. No, I'm, I'm just messing around. The other podcast is great. It feels like a hug. There's obviously some humor family. to it. Yeah, it's called, Chosen Family. it's called Chosen Family. It's called Chosen Family, everybody and, on and this podcast. And it's a lot of, it's name. a lot of fun. Cool. And, and I, I, Elena and Mac really keep me grounded. From getting grounded, and they actually keep me from getting canceled because they're like super worried about that. Yeah, yeah. Wait, <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, we were worried about you. <laughs> we were worried about you. <laughs> we're trying to avoid. Wait, this is really good energy a cycle. for you. Yeah, no, she's lovely. Yeah. she's like, 
one we're of the kindest we're people I've ever met. You like you're not even in the room. Yeah, yeah she's good. <laughs> like I no, am listening. She's like one of the kindest and very intelligent. Yeah, you seem oh, like thank it. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna be a great thank therapist. You. She's gonna be an incredible therapist. <laughs> it's a, she's such a gift. It's actually crazy. Okay, okay. <laughs> And you're here not just to promote Chosen Family Podcast, but also... I have a, I have a new podcast coming out. It's going to launch in a few months. It's called Sleeping Around. Um, and it's going to be interviews with various experts in the field of psychology, sex, dating, relationships. Because um, I, I am in school right now. I'm in a master's program to um, study in counseling psychology. I'm doing... Uh, thesis in the areas of queerness and sex and all of that and so yeah i'm really excited about it very exciting very exciting thank yeah. you for sharing mm. that news here first before any other podcast <laughs> breaking news breaking news okay let's get into it <laughs> because i have the most epic story okay. of all time wait but can sorry just kylie can you tell me some things about you because oh. i don't know Oh, I mean, I, I've never met you. I don't I don't know. Yeah, anything no about worries. You. No worries. Other than you have a disabled dog. You live in a van. Very molested. Very molested. Stand <laughs> up. What else should I know? Um, we know each other through stand up. I uh, LGBTQ VM. Oh, right. The, Polly, but no very, label. Very molested. No, I know. Not Polly. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> fuck right. it. I fuck it. I hate everyone right now. <laughs> the girl who I hooked up with last night was like, I aspire to be Polly. And I was like, the this, aspire? this world is these Gen Z's have gotten to people. I thought I'm so narcissistic. I thought you were like, I hooked up with this girl last night and she was like, she wants to fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and I was gonna be like, oh. <laughs> Get I mean, me to Germany. Yeah. <laughs> listener, write in. Would you like to fuck Kylie? Uh, I know. No, no, no. I've already gotten messages listener, from Write Greg. in. Let us know your raunchiest feelings about fucking Kylie. <laughs> Don't worry. They haven't held back. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best DM you've received? I mean. Ooh, good question. The, oh, well, I showed you that one. This woman, this one episode, I mentioned that I only have one towel and I was asking Ashley if she oh, could yeah. create merch where, with her face on it um, because <laughs> I'm a squirter, whatever. And um, It's a kind of sit on my face sex towel. We're having gay sex okay. towel. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you have to be yeah. a squirter. You can't get it unless you're a squirter. We you have to verify it. that you're a squirter. It's, yeah. it's kind of a fucked up, it's kind of a fucked up Send dynamic. Send in a little like, they, like submit yeah. clips. We, yeah. we get vials, clips. we get vials. <laughs> And we test, vials. we test. Vials and vials. <laughs> um, and then this woman kept DMing me and was like, where can I send towels to you? <laughs> you were like, I don't have an address. It's I was a like, van. I have a van. I live in a van. I only need one the towel. FDR, please. I don't have room for other towels. <laughs> the FD I don't ever stay in the F. The FDR bridge? The, it's a highway that runs down the east side of Manhattan. Why don't people from out of town know what the FDR? Alex, I did you know what the FDR the time. is? Yeah, it's bridge. No, <laughs> it's that's what I just it's said. Bridge. Well, you come from bridge, bridge. to FDR. <laughs> bridge to the, FDR. Uh, it's it's the bridge. highway. It's the parkway, right? Yeah. So what's the story today? So the story. <laughs> yes. This is why I'm here. Yes. Right. Yeah. Like, let's. Elena, have we not let you get a word in? No. Okay. I don't have a many. I'm. I'm. I enjoy listening. You like being second, Mike. <laughs> I do like being second. I am not really the main character. Yeah, generally, and I'm okay. Well, with you that. are. Well, you're, you're actually incredible. better than the main character. You're, you yeah. have no faults. You're yeah. the narrator. You right. see everything. Yes, omnipotent. Yes, the voice. Whoa, <laughs> you really hit every sound. In this that was one. your bit. I'm reinforcing <laughs> your bit. You fucking whore. You went this direction, and I was like, yes, and omnipotent. <laughs> I know, I, but I'm so critical. <laughs> yes. Too far. This bit uh -huh. or this story <laughs> might take the full episode. Okay, go ahead. Okay? Go ahead. Yeah. So right. I just want to let you guys know, I understand, because sometimes I don't have a lot, you know? And we mm -hmm. hope the guest has a lot. Mm -hmm. Today is different. Today is different. This Can I give a little backstory? Yes, from like do it. Just I want my perspective. Totally. On our podcast, Chosen Family Podcast, patreon.com slash Chosen Family Podcast. You're gonna let me get no, away with I, that? No, I think that people wow. should be allowed to plug their work. I I am a <laughs> I'm a okay. free market capitalist. It's you plug true. your work. Okay. It's true. I haven't had okay. It's like saying the N-word on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> come on, come on, Van, come on, Van, come on, Van kid. Come on, Van kid. Yeah, whatever, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I didn't introduce you. Oh yeah, but right. I don't mm -hmm. think you ever do. Yes, you're I do. I have a. You're the survivor. <laughs> you're my. You said like you're surviving and deputy. thriving. Oh, what was it? I I don't know, but it, it wasn't great. But I'm what I'm, it, I got a big laugh. I mean, it was funny because it was bad, you know. They're all funny because they're bad. They're exactly. like little rhyming, stupid but puns. I, I want something a little more like era, era, molested, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you, she wants something with a little more zhuzh, like she, DJ hey. molested. Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay. Um, DJ. I'm thinking like you had your clit DJ Dad J Dad J spinning uh, the the kid records. Oh, wow, the DJ Diddle in that makes me DJ, sound like DJ I'm DJ Diddler. DJ Diddled. DJ Diddled. DJ Diddled. Oh my god! We're in the apartment. We're having gay sex. With I'm DJ Diddle. Yeah, I'm actually Gavin, and over here on the turntables we have DJ Diddled. Era, era, stop. Era, era. <laughs> no, really, stop. No, really, oh, I no. don't want this. Era, era. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> wait, wait. You should that, add a trigger warning to this. That might be app. the darkest Fine. thing I have ever been present for on any podcast. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's me. <laughs> that's us. Yeah, that's, that's just us. the way we are. That's so us. And that's okay. We're so and that's okay. We're up. so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> We're so crazy. We Remember that DJ molested bit we came up with? That was so. <laughs> that really brought us close, closer together. I'm thinking we take the next level. And Kylie, yeah. you're special. You're full special. Yes. Bird on YouTube Bird. is out. So go watch it. Go stream it for free. Um, it's awesome. It's really important that you go watch it, guys. You got to support these comedians. Yeah, and not mm -hmm. only support comedians, but uh, one in three women get sexually assaulted and uh, American gets sexually assaulted every 68 seconds. And there's mm -hmm. not many things in mainstream media that talks about what life is like being someone impacted by that. So- and it's comedy, right? Like it's comedy. It's it's funny and it's also like meaningful. You'll feel but it's, seen. Yeah, it's not mm -hmm. like it's not like sad. It's yeah. a very hopeful message. Hopefully, you'll take that away, God. Um, but yeah, yeah. Wait, pronouns. Um, she, they. Elena has been looking I've at asked this like three times. Elena's been looking at this mullet the entire time, I know. being like, "Would you say yeah. your fucking pronouns?" I officially just added they. Oh really? Oh, she did. congratulations. Yeah. No worries. Um, I just feel like, whatever. <laughs> I'm like, I don't really, I'm just me, you know? That's how yep. I feel. So I'm mm -hmm. she dang it up at the moment. Um, I just feel like I get treated like a woman, like especially mm. in stand up and stuff. So mm. I feel like very tied to my identity of being a woman. But then also I don't think any of the gender norms like apply to anybody. Yeah. So I'm just sort of like. It's a it's a they about the future. It's a they for an, uh, it's an aspirational day for a gender free world. Yeah, I don't, I've never felt like uncomfortable in my body, but I yeah. never felt like I, I, I do think I'm like a girl. I think there know? are different days. Yeah, yeah of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, um, and there's different she days also. Like there can be a political she, you know? Maybe that's no. the piece that I, yeah, absolutely. You can no, have somebody I really who don't. identifies, but wants to reclaim femininity and Guys, womanhood Guys, I have a great story. Sorry, can, this is my, sorry, this Can is you me. just follow me on Instagram, Kylie sorry. Vincent the first? <laughs> I no, Elena, don't, don't apologize. I don't give a shit what you There are going to be people who are so happy that you did that. And those okay. are the people who are going to be the most loud in the comments. Um, yep. so, and they should go listen to Chosen Family. And they should definitely go listen to. No, we do. We do it here. Just typically at the end of an episode. Listener, are you listening to our Patreon exclusive? You're having gay sex. Well, here's a sneak peek of what you missed last week. I spent an abnormal amount of time eating her ass. <laughs> She decided to ask me what it tasted like after we had finished. I told her that her ass tasted like chicken nuggets. 
I don't know if it was the tequila or if she was genuinely angry, but she started screaming at me to get out. I drunkenly hobbled back to my place, confused as hell, and opened the door to find La Fonda. She gave me the fattest kiss no. with tongue. No. <laughs> oh. Skull emoji. Oh, God. She then asked me if I got chicken nuggets without her. No, are you Skull fucking serious? Emoji. Are you fucking serious? That's crazy. Oh, please tell me that's true. <laughs> there are four bonus episodes a month of this series, You're Having Gay Sex, on our Patreon at the $10 tier and then two at the $5 tier. Patreon.com slash WHGS. Listener, spring has sprung, love is in the air, and that means you need your Helix mattress. You don't want to bring a girl home and have her crawl into your bed and feel like shit the next day, and then she takes it out on you and never sees you again. Help your boo thang get a good night's sleep on a Helix mattress. Go to helixsleep.com slash gay sex, take the two-minute mattress quiz, and you'll find out which mattress is best for you. And it's no stress. You get 100 nights to try it, and there's a 10 to 15 year warranty. So don't sweat this decision. But I know you're gonna love it because you don't have to take my word for it. Helix has been awarded the number one mattress picked by GQ and Wired Magazine. It's even recommended by multiple leading chiropractors and doctors of sleep medicine as a go-to solution for improving your sleep. Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash gaysex and use code HELIXPARTNER20. This is their best offer yet, and it won't last long. With Helix, better sleep starts now. Well, now I feel stupid doing my story. No, no, no. no. We want to hear your story. story. No, Elena was doing the background. Right, so all the, the background that I have is basically that you came on our podcast one day just <laughs> looking absolutely wrecked. Thank you so like much. Like you'd been housed the night before. Like I'm not, we're not sure what happened. You didn't seem sure what happened. Um, we were talking about Vanessa and then you said, I will tell the story on my other podcast. Elena, you will be there as the sex therapy interested person. It's actually super cool that we're doing because Maddie sort of naturally um, just started getting more and more work yeah. like kind of slowly we started introducing a more rotating kind of thing and that was the original intention so i'm so glad that it's happening and i specifically curated the two of you for th this was why Ooh. i wanted the rotation because you two i sp specifically was like this story has to be these two people why so well you're gonna hear it okay. i already I already know. No, no, no. Reason. As in, like, why? I know why What's I'm the reason? here. Why is Kylie here? It's something to do with um, sexual trauma. A little bit. Well, not really in the story itself, but okay. the, I feel like there's background of sexual trauma. Mm -hmm. But also, I think you're just like so comfortable talking about so many gray areas of sex. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Kylie, there is more to you than your sexual trauma. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. It's kind of just. It's kind of just me. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Diddle. <laughs> DJ Diddle. Okay, um, Ashley. Uh, okay, so I went, I was, I met the perfect person while I was on tour, which is the friend of someone who decides to come to the comedy show. I love oh, yeah. that. Mm -hmm. I love yep. it because they don't know my work. Perfect dynamic. It's not like a mm -hmm. weird thing, but also I get to show off. Yeah. And, you know, and, mm -hmm. uh, she actually, don't, please don't do this. She actually heckled me during the show. Oh. Oh. But it, she- it turned you on? At for, I, she was adorable. She's okay. like the five- heckle to bedroom pot pipeline. <laughs> the not, heckle to pipeline. That's not normal. <laughs> no, it's not. And no one should ever do this. And please don't do this. But she was adorable. She was like uh -huh. five foot nothing and like standing on her chair. I think like she just, it was so, she was just cute. She was just like yeah. adorable. And it was hard for me to take the heckling seriously. Cause she was so tiny. Cause she was so small. <laughs> she was just so little. She's a small girl. She's small. <laughs> <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't like that. No, I loved it. Oh, okay. Small. Oh, no, not that. Okay, sorry. <laughs> no, we're changing our mind. Can you just keep going, please? <laughs> what is your problem? <laughs> you said it worse. Wait, do it again. Small. 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 It's like the Dory thing. Okay. 
So we met after she heckled me and I thought she was funny and adorable. And I, I met her at the meet and greet. What'd and she say? What'd she heckle? Basically that she wanted to sleep with me. Oh, mm. you have great judgment, Ashley. <laughs> I'm like, okay, so there it is. I isn't thought she it, was adorable. Isn't it crazy that I have found Jen and she has saved my life? Jen is very good for you. Yeah. it's at, although, Otherwise, I'd be a hot mess, I think. Mm -hmm. So I start, I've never done this before, but I make out with this woman in the green room. Whoa. Yeah. Wait, how does she how, get to the green yeah, room? How did she I jump the whole? I invite her in there. And then, but this how is, when? This is. Did you stock it with snacks beforehand? Were you the like, venue, Give me the this is a great club. Menu. Snacks are in there. There are wow. snacks. Nice. Yeah. Including Vanessa. <laughs> including, <laughs> including Vanessa. How did you guys get to the makeout part so quickly? Yeah. Yeah. You jumped a major part uh, of the story. There's so much to the story. Where's and this the is, build up, Ashley? There, we're, this is part of the build up. <laughs> This is the buildup. Basically, okay. okay, so in the green room, she's like, tells me that she's separated from her husband. She's a little older than me, um, and she has a husband, but they're separated, and she's never been with a woman before. Wow. Okay, so then she's just, she's in it. She's hit all the, <laughs> yeah. all the Ashley points. <laughs> <laughs> she's checked all the boxes. Unavailable MILF? Absolutely. Yes. Unavailable, <laughs> unavailable straight MILF? Yes, To be I'm fair, in. too, you got that pretty quickly. A makeout in the green room before you guys well, even leave the, the club? Yeah, like, how did you get to the green room? Normally, I would never make out in the green room because I think it's unprofessional. Mm -hmm. I, w I don't want, you but know, it's super cool. It's definitely cool. No, but I didn't think she was going to come back to my hotel. So I was like, oh, let's just make out a little bit in the green room and then I'll go home. That was yeah. sort of like what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and Did she you pitch that to her before the green room or were you just like, I need to know how you ask someone back to the green room. Like, oh, are, is it just God. the two of you somewhere in front of the stage? Are you doing a meet and greet? Are you finding <sighs> her post show? Like, how does this? Oh my and then God. you say, you want to, you want to come to the green room? Like, what, how do you do that? This what makes happens? me sound, because people don't understand this is like my everyday environment. Yeah, you know, yeah. No, you, this is like, you live in this place and it I'm makes I'm always sense. in a, yes, exactly. Yeah. It sounds so foreign to people. It does. That's why I'm like, paint us a picture. So well, she, she, she comes, sounds like she's like outspoken too. So yes, she, she was like she, really yes. expressing she, first. Mm -hmm. She was super express. I mean, that's yeah. the understatement of a century. The woman. Yeah. <laughs> she literally heckled you and said, I want to fuck you, Ashley Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was, she was funnier than that. And she was like more flirty than that, but she's, she's adorable. And then, you know, we're talking during the meet and greet. And I said, do you want to hang out after this? And she's like, yes. And I'm like, would do you want to just wait for me at the bar? And then I talked to her at the bar and I was like, I have to okay. clean up. Do you want to come in the green room? And then we oh, were- Oh, that's great. Yeah. There you go. And then okay. I'm just, then I'm cleaning. I'm literally packing up my things to leave. And mm -hmm. then we just started talking and then we're talking for like, you know, probably 20 minutes, half an hour. And then we're making out. That's how yep. it is. Yes. Definitely Thank less you. of a creepy way to tell well, the story. Well, what would happen? I pick her up and put her on my, drag her by the hair into the green we room? We don't know. What? It's we, not our world. We were imagining that she was like at uh, the meet and greet, and then you're like, yeah. stop the meet and greet. Come to my <laughs> green room. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You left everybody else in the line. No meet Fuck and greet for them. You. We are, we're, <laughs> guys, we're not going to finish the story. Okay, go. Have to, sorry, go. sorry. Okay, sorry. We go back to my hotel room. We're kissing, we're messing around. We have really good chemistry. I really like her. I think she's really sweet. She's like, you know, she's, she's so small. <laughs> she's tiny. She's so little. I can put her in my pocket. She's <laughs> I can hold her in the palm of my hand. Look, sometimes you you hook up with someone so tall, and you're like, you're so tall, and then yeah, for sure, you know, they need their attention yeah. too. These small people, they do. Mm -hmm. We miss the them. We're ones. just walking right over them. Totally. <laughs> I, I so we're we're hooking up, and then you know things are starting to get hot and heavy. You know, maybe there's like a little booby grab, and uh -huh. she goes, she says no, and I'm like, oh, totally okay, and yeah. I kind of stop, and we're talking. And then we like start up again and things are getting heated again. And I'm like, can I do this? Are you okay? And she's like, yeah. And then like, it'll get a little further. And she's like, 
no. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh. I was like, what is happening right now? Yeah. yeah. And I said to her, like, are you okay? She was like, I'm having the best time. And I was like, it's like just the definition of mixing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. It was the no, but keep going. No, I'm having a great time, but stop. If there's one thing I am a little bit neurotic about, this is kind of it. Like, yeah. I'm not totally. fucking around with that. Well, also, no. it doesn't feel good. No, it doesn't. When, like, someone is, you already knew that she was, like, going in an identity thing, too. So you're yeah, like. Yeah, exactly. If your brain is racing right but now. But physically, yeah, yeah, I'm getting all of the things until something happens. And I was yeah. like, then I started realizing the no was part of what was happening. <sighs> Now oh. she is ex-Mormon. Oh. And I'm realizing the no is like, after a few times that I pull back, I was like, oh, I think this is part of it. So I was like, do That's you want to so... use a safe word? Because yeah. frankly, I'm really uncomfortable not yeah. knowing what this no yes. means. Yes. So yeah. she was like, yeah, you, and we literally had the most frank discussion. She was like, you have mm -hmm. full consent. And I was like, that's interesting. Cause you keep telling me no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. So well, I, and I'm concerned. This is my, it concerns me that she, didn't think that she needed to have that discussion first. So it's like how many right. people have just disrespected the no up front? I don't know because she's just with her husband. Yeah. And, is... and she told me they weren't really having sex. What I think is happening is, so we, we decide we're like pineapple. We're going to do pineapple. And yeah, what it. I think is happening. I think this is so hot, by the way. Keep going. Here's the thing. <laughs> Do you actually? <laughs> yeah. I have never experienced, well, once we got the safe word going. Mm -hmm. Yes. The yeah. frustration yes. of her telling me no. Yes. And then like, bro, we were like wrestling. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We yes. were mm -hmm. full. Have you done this? Yes. And in my heart, Kylie, you knew I that. fucking knew. You knew that. Somewhere deep <laughs> in know. my soul. This is why Kylie's here. Okay. So I had no fucking idea. You know who and wrestles when they're having sex? Kylie. Now wait, okay. Kylie. So she's telling me no and my adrenaline. Yes. Because I've never done this before. So that's part of it. Yeah. I'm on a roller yeah. coaster ride. Mm -hmm. Like hearing, knowing that the no was probably not like, no, I don't want to fuck you. It's like, no, I'm Mormon. This, this is, is wrong. So I'm not supposed yeah. to do this. I'm like, do exactly. I'm, I'm doing, doing this something bad. Now that this I have so that and I know that and I have pineapple and then my heart is like, I am just, it's beating out of my chest <laughs> yes. and we're not even fucking dude. Yeah. We're, we're just making out. That's the and not best fucking. part is like all mm -hmm. the like build up anticipation. It mm -hmm. got so intense. I used the safe word. <laughs> Yes. I, she kept <gasps> saying no when I was like, pineapple, uh, do you mean it that time? <laughs> You've met your match. <laughs> right. Yes. I, I fully was like, she never yeah. used the safe. I was the only one to use the safe word because uh -huh. I yeah. was so uncomfortable, not uncomfortable, but yeah. like so, you know, yeah. about the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. Wait, which side of it were you on? I've been bull. Uh, no, no, no. I've, I'm her. That's crazy. Because I feel like it has something to do with my, like how I learned about sex and attraction was a very mm -hmm. bad thing. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so now kind of reclaiming that you mm -hmm. get to just like, like that, I feel like I'm probably the most myself if I share that with a partner mm. because I'm like, this is, it's kind of something I'm ashamed of. But mm -hmm. yeah, I'm I'm learning that it's not to no. be ashamed of. No, no, no. I mm -hmm. mean, like I've never done this before. Yeah. But I imagine a lot of people really want to. Yeah. And it's mm -hmm. linked to religious trauma made so much sense to me. Yes. Because mm -hmm. this was a the only way, not the only way, but this was a tool for her to mm -hmm. be able to do this. It's, yeah. Because well, and just generally, if you look at research in different. Um, cultures, different societies, different political leanings. The thing that a community finds most taboo tends to be the highest 
um, like prevalence of that form of kink. So it's like in a community where something like consent is really um, valued. Yeah. Then the idea of something like consensual non-consent mm. is um, is a huge turn on and you find yeah. uh, its popularity increases. And same with like conservative groups versus um, liberal groups. You'll see different trends of like what people um, of what people's turn ons and fantasies are about. Yeah. It tends to be whatever is most taboo in that group. Mm -hmm. I think for this, it was like. Um, you know who talked about this was um we we've, we've had her on the podcast before Natalie Wynn contrapoints. Mm. She does a whole thing about oh Alex, do you mind looking up? There's a name for this. It's basically like a fantasy that allows you to like go through with the thing that you're doing. And here the fantasy is like mm -hmm. I'm not gay. Yes, I'm being mm. coerced into being yes. gay. But like it was just I ne I am the last person who ever thought I could enjoy that. But because of her commitment level. No, that's also why you can enjoy it because it's so physical. It engages like your body and your feelings and you being turned on that you don't even have time to think like you're saying the adrenaline. The, I've it's, never had adrenaline like that during sex. Yeah. So in my life. You're kind of just life. like in it physically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was crazy. Mm hmm. It was like wrestling. Yeah. We were on opposite sides of the bed at mm -hmm. one point. Mm -hmm. Like th there were many locations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was. <laughs> you were. Yeah, there were. And we you never. Were, Ashley, this is like you did some kinky stuff. Yeah. Like Elena, this is like primal, like primal king. Ashley, good for you. You little <laughs> vanilla this whore. This is like we're so proud. We're so proud. And agility while doing it. Good job. Oh, <laughs> endurance. And I think that's why I mentioned, I don't usually mention what people physically look like, but I think that was another part of it. She oh, was so much smaller than yeah. I was. For sure, yeah. So yeah. it was like really, oh my God. Throwing her around? <laughs> Were you throwing her around or what? <laughs> Come on, give me the details. No, I'm just were kidding. Were you tossing her around? But were you tossing you her, her around? Up? Did you pick her up and give her a little toss? Did you put her in a grocery cart? <laughs> <laughs> DJ Diddled coming in with the kitty, the kitty ribs. Wow! wow. <laughs> <laughs> For a second, I thought I forgot what sound a DJ makes. Yeah, <laughs> that was a round so round. <laughs> And I was so into it. I did other things that I had never done before. So no. here's, here's the funniest Tell thing, us. I think. She was underneath me, and I think I had her arms pinned, maybe, or something. That, like a mm -hmm. very aggressive posture. And I I just thought I, I oh should God, spit in her mouth. I knew you were going to say I that. Knew that's what you're I've gonna never, say. ever done that. It, mm -hmm. it seems yeah. so disrespectful. But it felt that's like that's the point. Also, that's kind yeah. of the point. It felt like what I was supposed to do. I felt yeah. called to it. You know when, <laughs> you yeah, know when some Quakers, people are called to it for sure. <laughs> well, you know, like you know when you're doing stuff like that, you don't want to have to ask. You don't want to be asked. You want it to be organic. Uh, can you please uh, spit on me? No, I know that asking. It doesn't have to be that way. But like, come on, it's great when it's when it's organic. It's like it's great. Yeah. So I I I I went for it. Mm -hmm. And I just thought you should just do this. And I, I fully missed and I spat on her nostril. I spat on her nostril. <laughs> Did you guys start laughing? Or? She started laughing and she went, what the fuck was that? She did not want Wait, to be Wait, she's spat amazing. On. I love yeah, her. Yeah, she's the best. Oh, wow. She's fantastic. And then we yeah. just started laughing and she w wiped the spit from her, from her nostril. Right. Yeah. Spat As her. one would. Yeah. So maybe, maybe you do want to ask. Yeah, of course, well, first especially time. first time. <laughs> but it just, I don't know. I just felt like. Right, you were called felt, to it. I was called to it. Yeah. And it, it also felt like something that was, you know, within the realm, we had established a safe word and Congruent it just sort of felt like, yeah, doing. yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're like, what do Mormons do? I guess they spit at their women. <laughs> 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 they're start, known, they're known to spit. You do crazy things like. During sex, you go, no coffee. I I, I don't drink coffee. <laughs> That's her dirty I'm, I'm like, this feels so good. It's like I'm inheriting my own planet after I die. <laughs> <laughs> you 
try what do they call it you try soaking, soaking. like lesbians yeah yeah so, lesbians lesbians soaking. Like, soaking. i mean this kind of was what it was we did not have sex i mean i consider oh. here's the thing i did consider it sex because right. it was okay. so passionate and intense yeah and but there was no genital stuff clothes pants okay. stayed on that's probably good for oh, her. Oh, actually, I did do one thing. Oh, my God. I don't even know if I want to, like, admit to that on the podcast. <gasps> now I have us. to. Okay. You have to. Tell us. Listener, this episode is brought to you by Smalls. Listener, I am one of those annoying people that says that my cats are like my kids. And I will, I will fight you to the death over that. Don't come for me, parents. That is why I feed my cats Smalls, the best cat food around. Not only do my cats love it, but I know they're healthier because of it. Their breath smells better, they puke less, their fur is softer and shinier. It's the best stuff around. Smalls cat food is protein-packed recipes made with preservative-free ingredients you'd find in your fridge, and it's delivered right to your door. That's why veterinarians.org rates Smalls 10 out of 10 for ingredient quality. Now is the time to make the switch to Smalls. Head to smalls.com slash gay and use promo code gay at checkout for 50% off your first order plus free shipping. That's the best offer you'll find, but you have to use my code gay for 50% off your first order. One last time, that's promo code gay for 50% off your first order plus free shipping. So, oh my God. It was... Oh my God. (sighs) More than... Safe word. More than spit and miss. More than tossing her around in a grocery cart. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm going to admit to this. Alex, oh you might god, need to... So- I don't know if I can say this in front of you, Alex. Can you turn your camera off, Alex? Thank you. And Alex, can <laughs> you... Alex, take off the chain while you're at it. Um, Alex... <laughs> Never. <laughs> okay. Oh I could god. tell she really wanted to have sex, but like there was this mental barrier. Yeah. And we've yeah. been just for background, we've been like talking and stuff and right. like you knew where she was at. Yeah, yeah. And now we're still talking and I she's actually um I want to say this before I say this next part. She told her husband mm. and he's been very supportive and I think they're going to they're going to he's like they were going to get divorced anyway. They were separated, but she's yeah. like, "Hey, I'm <laughs> I'm gay." And He's like, we're, you know, we're still a family and the kid. Oh, and that's like, so fucking wow. great. Yeah. So she's, so this sexual experience was, um, I think she would have done it anyway. Actually, but life-changing. A life-changing wanna, sexual experience. Wow. life-changing. No, she would have gotten there. I just happened to be in the room at the time. It, you no, know? Yeah. no, it happened to be your show <laughs> that she came to. <laughs> what do you mean? You weren't just in the room. No, it, it's... <laughs> You were like called to this. This okay. is the reason you're a famous stand up comic. Okay, fuck, fuck you. Okay, so I, I don't want to sound arrogant, but it was, it was it, honestly, it's kind of cool to have just been, participate, yeah. participate in the, her, 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 her crisis journey. Well, yeah. I, yeah. I one time was like hooking up with a newly gay girl and sh- she was like, it's so nice to be out in public with you because it just like, it's, felt comfortable and like, I'm like mm, being with someone that's comfortable. That's so sweet. Yeah, mm. and I, that made me so happy. Yeah. That is a lovely thing about being gay, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You get to serve as, I feel like a lot of people have been through that. You, gay, and other people have done, been that for us. A gay mm-hmm. liaison, like a liaison, but a gay <laughs> a liaison. Sherpa. Oh, a Sherpa. A Gurpa. A Gurpa. Les Burpa. <laughs> oh. Les Baba. <laughs> <laughs> sort of a caddy. Please keep going. Mm. Sort of a, a, a golf caddy. Yeah. So the, a gay caddy. A gaddy. A gaddy. Oh, there it is. A gaddy's good. A gaddy's good. I'm not, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is again, I'm afraid of the internet. I'm not trying to say this in like an arrogant way. It was really fun to be a part of her journey. Arrogant. No. So yeah. I could feel that, oh my God, I could feel that she really wanted to do more, but she was really scared and like she didn't want to fully have sex. Uh So I had a creative idea. She was, because, okay, so during the sex, she had sort of said like, I don't know if I, you know, like I love this, but I don't know if I would love it. Like, you know, touching or going down on a woman. And I was like, bro, you are so deep inside this. There's no way you wouldn't like that. But like, yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> but like, mm-hmm. okay, you're on your journey. Yep. Yeah. Not my place. Yeah, you yeah say. exactly. Sure. Like, mm-hmm. so I, I was like, 
I can't. Oh my god, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I'm I asked so her, ready for I this. A- I can't. <laughs> I asked her to give me her hand, and uh-huh. I was like, I like. She had already been kind of touching me over my pants, just so you yeah, know. right. Yeah. So I took her hand, but that's as much as she would like. And I under the pants, she probably wouldn't like. Wouldn't like it. No, 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 <laughs> no. That would be no, crazy. This layer of fa- fabric very is integral different. to her sexuality. <laughs> yes. um, so I took her hand, and I was like, I was like looking at her, like, is this okay? And I like was like, I was looking at her, and I was like, don't worry, you don't have to do anything. And I started, yeah. I started touching myself. Oh yeah. Ooh. And I was like, that's a good, is that's this, a good way around. I was like, are you comfortable with this? She was, like, do you like this? She was like, yeah. And then. I got a sample, if you will, while I was down there. Uh, I took a, I took a, I took a sample. I, I, I understand why Alex has his camera off. I, I wish I had my camera off. No, you're touching saying. yourself. <laughs> yep. And I, I, I. But you got a sample. I, I got a little souvenir from the area. Yep. Uh, Stuck I, it in her mouth. I no, I didn't. Uh. <laughs> Oh, that's where I thought you were going. That is where I, was I thought say, you were going. Ashley, you dirty well, dog. I took the sample. That's super cool. Yeah. But that this woman has not done enough for me to do that. Right, right, right. And I, I got my sample. I brought it out. Yeah. And I took her hand and I was like, are you yeah. okay? And yeah. she was like, yeah. And then I just touched the palm of her hand. I just like put it on yeah. her hand. Right. Yeah. And it was like so hot and so yeah. intimate. And she was so that into so it. Intimate. My seed. Then what did she do? <laughs> I'm leaving. That was the sound of me did, putting did, down the did mic. Ashley has removed her headphones. <laughs> did you whisper? She cannot hear My us. seed. <laughs> Baby girl, you got my seed now. Plant it. <laughs> now she's planting a tree with Ashley's seed. <laughs> and now gay girls everywhere can get a sample of Ashley. From this tree. Mm -hmm. Everyone travels far and wide. I shared this very vulnerably, okay? (laughs) I found a creative way to have intimacy with this woman and tap Mm -hmm. into something that she was experiencing in a safe way. Yeah, and we think that's Mm -hmm. great. We think that's great. Yeah, we think it's great. Why don't you guys just finger paint with it? (laughs) That's that's basically what she did. You guys should go a little further, Picasso. That's a musician, so. No, Picasso's a painter. Oh, you had it. Oh, fuck. God, I gotta stop oh. smoking weed. <laughs> it was, Alex, you can come back now. It was one of the hottest things I've ever experienced in my life. Alex probably so jumped out of the response? window. <laughs> Alex is do? dead now. <laughs> yeah, Alex actually isn't here anymore. Hey, Alex. Hey, nope. Alex, do you happen that to hear that? Or? Was that disturbing for you? Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh my Aww. god! Oh, okay, Alex, oh, Alex, you're so you're the good. best, Alex. Alex, how would you feel if somebody gave you a sample in the palm of your hand? And then would you take it and plant a tree, or would you <laughs> would you purell immediately? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh yuck. <laughs> What if what if that's what she did? What if the whole time it was super hot and I grabbed she the sample and, and, then, and she's just like, oh, oh. <laughs> the just, rest of the time she just holds her arm out here. It's just the most. Yeah, she's got her arm. <laughs> she's still oh. making out. With Where's you? the bathroom? She's still <laughs> going to town with yes. the make out. Yes. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was uh. so cool. It was, but what did she do? What so so you get you provide the sample and she goes her pupils get big or what's the so hot response? I mean, it was like we kissed and she was like definitely into it and yeah. Oh my! God. Secretly wiping it on your back. <laughs> <You're just laughs> Come on, do I have to say? Do I have so to say hot. the next part? Yes, you have to say the next part. I really want to know. You have to say. You can't Please. tell us. You gave her your seed and then back yes. out. Yes, and then like leave us hanging. Oh, Alex, Alex is, is gone. gone. Perfect. In case you need it's it. It's a safe space. She licked the seeds. That's yeah. what I was wondering. That is way less weird than her just leaving it on her <laughs> hand, Ashley. Yes. What the yes. fuck else is she supposed to do with it? If she yes. wiped it off. Yeah. <laughs> Of course.
course she, of course she ate the seed. Oh, this is beautiful. Because <laughs> gay is growing inside of her, and you're a part of that seed growing. Damn. Yeah. You're the gay yep. Costco handing out samples. That's a beautiful yep. thing. Oh, Ashley. This is the blood of Christ. Yeah, you're, that's the start of a cult following. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, you gave her communion. And somehow her husband's wrapped into this cult too. He's like, yeah, yeah, we, that's totally great. <laughs> I love this tree. <laughs> this tree works. This tree has given us fruit for our children. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Vanessa. Oh, I got so a text her. Was the term sublimation, was that what you were I think of? that might have been it. What's the definition? Oh, interesting. Sublimation. That's a Freudian. I just have Wikipedia, but Elena might be able to help with a more proper educated thing. But it just says in psychology, sublimation is a mature type of defense mechanism in which socially unacceptable impulses yeah. or idealizations mm -hmm. are transformed yeah. into socially acceptable actions or behavior, possibly resulting in a long term conversion of the initial impulse. That's Freudian. That's psychoanalytic. I don't know if that I, I haven't heard that word in the in the kink community, but if if <sighs> ContraPoints was talking about it, I don't doubt. Maybe it was a different word, but that sounds like what I'm getting at. How are you feeling? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, sweaty. Check in. Nervous. <laughs> Why are you nervous? Because I shared a very vulnerable thing. Yeah. Yeah, that was you did. that was it. Yeah. Wow. You shared seed. You shared seed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was there with you the whole time. I was like, I understand why this is hot. That's so hot. That's so cool that yeah. you guys created that space. Because not only did it affect her life, but you're clearly oh, it, I, impacted. Yeah. It, I mean, you saw me on Chosen Family, Elena. I was a different person. Oh, you were in a you were on a different plane, different realm, <laughs> like not of this earth. We weren't quite sure where Ashley had gone. I we were talking bloodletting. Like we were like, what could have had an impact like this? Bloodletting. Next time, yeah, if you can imagine, Elena. Next I don't. Time. I don't know if you have any quick gay sex quickies, but I do feel the people might be annoyed if I don't ask you if you've had gay sex this week. Oh. But I also want to be clear, and Elena, let me know if I'm wrong. But I don't mm -hmm. think you're in a space anymore where you're sharing those kinds of stories because of the degree you're working no. on. No, I'm not really sharing personal stories. The only thing I'm I've been thinking about in terms of gay sex is like the research that I'm interested in, but that's less, I know it's less juicy and it's more like, <laughs> let's explore, you know? Yeah, but is it something conformity. that will help the pod or help the listeners? We talk about it a lot on the other pod. Oh, so go to the other fucking yeah, pod. Yeah, go to the other fucking pod. <laughs> this one's about <laughs> sex <laughs> and <laughs> sharing <laughs> seed. Seed and sex. <laughs> Wait, that, I'm literally so happy for you though, because not yeah. only like, was it a new experience that opened you up, but also mm -hmm. that one is so hard that it's now affected you as a person and how you go about life of like, yeah. like the taboo things. You can yeah. now ask mm. for, that's the mm -hmm. nuance of shit that you're like, why are we all feel this way? Why are we not talking about yes, it? Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. It's it's actually not wrong at all. Yeah, I think for me, it was just like a kind of a surprise, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Yeah, you've talked about, like, that's why earlier I, I was saying congratulations on the kink stuff. Not to be condescending, but because you've talked about how you consider yourself kind of vanilla and people would be surprised because you have this kind of like, I'm a, a slut. Look at me, sex with all these people. I but mean, I at am the a end slut. of the day, I know, but like, you, you've talked about the contrast between kind of that perception and then people assume that you're like into all this kinky shit when really you're not. Yeah, and I've even I've even slept with people who have <laughs> like nagged me in bed who've mm -hmm. been like, oh, I thought you were going to be more aggressive. And it's like, yeah. I can do that. But like, I have to be, feel really close to you. Yes. Before yeah. I yes. do something really. And you were saying mm -hmm. the chemistry between you and her were like, yeah. that, that is so, so important. So and it's also like you can't find that with everyone. There's only certain like yeah. bodies that you're like. Uh, I'm just doing this. I'm I'm going through, and I'm not even thinking I think about because it. Because it was new, it was actually easier. Mm, you because feel like there was someone... no history. Like it felt like the ultimate role play because we didn't know each other. Yes, you yeah. know what I mean. Yes. Like there were no previous characters that we had to overcome. Yeah. I am the same way with sex. I'd rather like I 
I get scared when I get into like something where they get to know me because I'm like, I, I'm like, I'm playing a role and I'm right. like, well, I don't want to be myself. Like, yeah. this is like, mm-hmm. ugh. Yeah. I could just be like fucking, oh, you like that? <laughs> I go into that voice. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> that good for you, bro? How's it going down there? <laughs> But it's harder to ask for. Th- it's like embarrassing. You're like, oh, I like, I like this. Yeah, thing. there's more weight when I ask for something with Jen. Yeah, because I fear that she won't want to do it. Mm-hmm. I was gonna ask, is this something you're, you're thinking about bringing in? I don't know about that. You guys don't have enough religious trauma, or I don't. Yeah, I don't know that we have enough religious trauma to convincingly do that. You could, go- and I love the sex that we have anyway. So yeah. it's not like. Um, But I definitely feel more comfortable, like, bringing back things, like, asking to do things we used to do a little more often. You know, when you're with someone for a while, things get, you bring in new things, you lose old things, stuff Mm -hmm. like that. So it it definitely made a positive impact on me. I think it's interesting that slutting, slutting has done so much for me. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like, it's so in your body and about yeah, letting about letting go yeah man and about freaking <laughs> just vibing it's, no yeah. fuck you dude it is about letting go you talk like that sometimes and it's funny i know it's i know it's i'm from california there's nothing i can do about it sorry sorry babe alert from california nothing i can do about it <laughs> 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 Super fucking chill babe alert, okay? Um <laughs> Well Well I love I love being naked now. If this is the first year of my life that I'm like, I can't stop being naked. It's awesome. Okay. Yeah. It's like it's well, I, I feel like that's like What? what I do just you mean? like Where? I just love it. Like I'm yep. so comfortable being naked about around like I I feel so in my body and that like, Mm -hmm. I feel like I used to feel like it was my enemy, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And now I've grown to just like really love it and feel like it's like such a natural thing. And oh my God, hell yeah. Ratify. Yeah. Ratify. I, um, you want to hear something really silly? Yeah. This is my gay sex story. Um, (gasps) tell us is I was camping the hair behind her. (laughs) I was camping in uh, North Carolina in my van by myself and I took shrooms and at night I climbed to the top of my van roof and I, it wasn't in a campsite. So I'm like completely alone. It's primitive camping. Um, Mm -hmm. in a van, (laughs) in a van. Um, it's primitive. It's like really bare bones, but I also I have a band. Well, I, I have fuck it. you, dude. <laughs> motor vehicle. You know what? It's primitive other than the, the motor vehicle. If I had the soundboard, I'd go pew, 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 pew. A guy literally, you know, you're reminding me of a guy right now because a guy, <laughs> he was like, oh, Elena, stop <laughs> being such a dude. He's Your like, straight sorry. side is showing. Yeah, seriously. Uh-oh, calm down sorry. over there. I'm, I'm brave for camping in the middle. No. It's really deep. It's deep in there. <laughs> Okay, so a guy was like, you go camping? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, oh, but you hunt? And I was like, no, I don't hunt. What? And he's like, <laughs> he was like, you're cheating then. And I'm like, you think everyone that goes camping shoots what they eat? <laughs> oh I can God. bring baked beans. It's not cheating. Anyway, <laughs> I took off my clothes and I was on the top of my van roof and I was just- Sorry, just the phrase. <laughs> I can bring baked beans. It's not cheating. Is that, I don't know why that's so funny to me, but that should be a sound on TikTok. I can bring uh-huh. baked beans. It's not cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Someone cut the clip. <laughs> yeah, you you guys better because my algo is fucking shit. I swear to God, if someone works for Meta, can you fucking help me? <laughs> I'm literally dying. <laughs> yeah, but so I I was naked and that was my story. I didn't have sex. I haven't had sex in a while. Oh, you were naked on the top of your But man, you yeah. were naked and then that shifted your relationship with being naked that moment or- um, or I was guess, that the culmination? I guess yeah. I think it's been leading up to that moment. Mm. And I, when mm-hmm. it happened, I go, that felt awesome. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't, I wasn't scared, even though it's good. a bear saw me. You and saw said, a bear while you were I naked? Said, ah, please stop. <laughs> They're huge. Stop looking. 
<laughs> oh my god, they're so big. <laughs> Please, Mr. Bear. Mr. Bear, you're such a pervert, Mr. Bear. No, no, Mr. Bear. It's actually an old fat gay man. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Mr. That's Bear. Really you're playing. Playing. <laughs> well, thank you guys for mostly listening to my story. Elena, how do you feel? I feel so thrilled for you that you had that experience. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And I hope you continue to have experiences like that. Thank you so much. In the way that they're new and exciting and fun. Not even new, but just exciting and fun. The Mormon church still exists, so you will have more experiences like that. Yeah, listener, write in. Um, If you are like this, let me know. (laughs) (laughs) If you had a really hard time growing up. (laughs) Listener, if you are just super fucked up, let me know. Okay, well, Elena, what would you like to plug? Uh, Well, I'd like to plug our other podcast, Chosen Family Podcast. And I'm actually in the process of starting my own podcast. Yay. It's going to be called Sleeping Around. (gasps) Oh my God, you're that far along that you have a... Yeah. Wow. Let's go. Um, We're going to hopefully launch in a few months, so keep an eye out. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to see all that, Elena Joy at everything. And it's going to be interviews with various experts in the fields of sex, dating, relationships, queerness. I'm, I'm really excited about it. Cool. And Kylie, do you want to plug anything? You yes. wait, you wait. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You have bird on YouTube. I have bird on YouTube. Um, if you just look up I have bird on YouTube. I have bird on YouTube. <laughs> I have bird, I have purse. <laughs> um, it's Bird Full Special by Kylie Vincent. Um <gasps> Oh my god, like a stand up special? Uh, in a way. It's like a it's more of a solo show. It has stand up and storytelling, but it's about um trigger warning. I talk about my sexual assault and how I've become really fucking rock hard awesome since then. Um, (laughs) And you can't be rock hard awesome without some assault. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm literally so special and I know that. And it's not cause like, I'm like full of myself or anything. Well, no one else's dad loves him as much as your dad did. No, I feel really loved (laughs) by my dad. And that's why I'm the way I am. Is because my daddy really he loved really me. Really loved you. Dad loves this girl. Daddy's girl. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so check that out. I'm having a hard time. <laughs> I'm going to make this about me and I'm going to say I'm actually having a oh, hard no time. Oh, no worries. Yeah, I, I think I'll stop there. Um, but also, to. I, I also yeah, that's the line. I do want to make that, it that's clear. It. Don't go any further than that because if we go <laughs> yeah. any further than that, I don't even know how to go further than that. I don't know either, but I'm sure I'll figure it Your out. Your dad might know. Uh, yeah, he, he, he definitely. I just gets really sad. Tears start. <laughs> wrong. He definitely oh, yeah. knows. We just flip to the, it goes to the other side. Yeah, <laughs> but I do want to be crying. clear that my show is like, I've been told that it's not triggering by other survivors and it's it's not explicit mm-hmm. at all it doesn't describe the abuse it's it's more about the nuance and feelings around being an abuse survivor and coming yeah. out of that mm-hmm. yeah um but yeah also like follow me on instagram kylie vincent the first and then guys i'm on tour please for the love of fucking god still i i never stop still forever never and always in perpetuity and um patreon.com slash wh to make this possible um it really really helps i can't overstate that um to know uh every month how much we're going to be making so we can support people like alex and kylie and continue to get these amazing guests um yeah thanks guys thanks Yay, for listening thank you oh patreon.com slash whgs to support this pod. What'd you guys think? I thought that was an incredible episode. Um, I am going on tour as well. Go check that out. Lots of cities coming up. And then the gay thought at the end of every, every episode, I do a gay thought that no one listens to. Um, what's yours? No, I don't have one. I have to come up with one every week and it's, it's torture. It's, I, I, I hate it. Can you give us examples of past gay? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, I, I, um, a lot of times they're like questions or like bit ideas, you know? Hey Fulton. Okay. Um, yeah, well, my question, I mean, my the only, my gay thought has been, does how does gender norm conformity impact the sex life? She doesn't get it. Women? She doesn't get it. She doesn't get it. I don't get it. She doesn't get, get it. Like cucumbers Aww. or something. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> That's oh, my gay no. thought. Yeah, Elena, like, I cucumbers. don't belong here. I, I don't belong here. <laughs> you mean, like, when a lesbian hooks up with a non binary person, how does that affect their identity? No. I mean, how does somebody buy in? How does somebody's buy into gender norms, like believing that men should be a certain way, women should be a certain way? How does that play out when you then have two women sleeping together? Obviously, there's a boy one and a girl one. Uh, uh, one does okay. the cooking, I the guess. other goes to work. Yeah. One raises the kids, one gets drunk. <laughs> Oh, no. Ponder on that, guys. Have a good week.